Are you ever amazed that so many people have come from other countries here to visit, they see it? Are you amazed by those who go home and don't apply it or don't nope. come back or don't? It's not my concern. Mm. Not amazed. That, that's called not my concern. Is uh, is an area that I should indulge in. Mm -hmm. It says uh, the sower goes to sow. Mm -hmm. He's done his own job. Mm. Very good. <laughs> then he also says that he said there was a man, a master, a vineyard owner, who sends his servants to go and invite people from everywhere, his friends, to come to his dinner. So mm -hmm. he said, go to my friend. This one said, oh, I don't have the time. This one said, I don't have time. The servant, the servants that went to call the, to invite the people, they don't have the, it is not their prerogative or their duty mm -hmm. to be sobbing and say, oh, they didn't come, they said they would not come. They have done what they needed mm -hmm. to do. <laughs> <laughs> I have another level of freedom. <laughs> I'm getting all my questions. <laughs> Even the ones that went and they were killed is another story. He said he sent out his servants and they were beaten and killed. Their job was not to there and say, Oh, we're going to fight for ourselves now. We're going to fight. Or oh, he's going to come to fight for us. Oh, he will come, the angels will come now. They have done their, their best. If they need to be defended, the person who will defend it is the father who decides. It's not their duty. Mm -hmm. Their duty is to just That's be there to the master. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I don't care. It's not my priority. It is somebody else's concern. That's what I think. <laughs> Where did you stop? <laughs> uh, I'll go back to this. Yep. Yep. Testimonies from your members gave me an encouragement to not lose faith on my studies. And starting my own business. Thanks for the tips from the financial series. Mother, so, businesses have been started. Mm -hmm. Hope. He said not to lose hope. Hope is being re re revived, restored. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mothers and 70 year, year olds are doing more than me, and I'm 27 mm -hmm. years old. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I doubt if they are really true. It seems like Kiev is filled with you see, power bosses. Those testimonies are so strong. <laughs> My question is, since I started listening, okay, let me see if we want to question right now. Maybe it's not question five. Okay, let's start with someone. Someone like me who has tested the miracle churches is worn out because I did not get what I was shouting for. Mm. Now I find wow. your message very com comforting. Is it not obvious that people are going to follow on these teachings because miracles are not working? What is so different about the kingdom teachings such that they can never be replaced by another teaching until Jesus comes? Mm. Mm. The kingdom message is not new since it started in Jesus, but even then, many other doctrines followed afterwards. Don't know if I articulated myself well, but hoping to hear from you. Thanks for narrating the system of the world to me. Since I lost my job, I have not bought any clothes or jewelry. I have only bought the food that I need. I am moving out of my nice house in a few months to come. Eating tomorrow's food today, this broke my heart. I didn't know. That's one of my messages. She had been eating tomorrow's food yeah. today. Having a living in a good house, you know, good color, good. Mm -hmm. But now, since she's been listening to me, she's not spending her money anyhow anymore. She doesn't want to eat tomorrow's food today. You said you were living like that too. And so, now you yeah. see her mentality change. Yeah, change. She says, "I found comfort in knowing that losing my job was the greatest blessing." You see, now she's a disciple. Okay. Yeah, that's lovely. Yep, because that's one of the series I did. That, that was losing your job could be one of the greatest blessings. 
I was in a point of hating God since he was mm. never interested in answering my prayers and I have screamed for years. So many people like that. Now I am enjoying loving him. I Though the relationship is still new. Now I'm enjoying <laughs> loving him. So, so many church people, so many people in Christianity are disillusioned. Yeah. I think it's a lie. I love God more. I've said it so wow. many times, yeah. even on my vlog. Yeah. I love said it even God yesterday. more than ever. Ever. Wow. I've never known God to be this. Yeah. Wonderful. Yeah. I've never. Okay. <clears throat> Play that again. I was in a point of hating God since he was never interested in answering my prayers that I have screamed for years. Now I am enjoying loving him. Though the relationship is still new, I do not pray about the things the pagans pray about. I know that he knows. She has really been listening. Yes, yeah. she has. Huh? She has. She has. She's if she can not. give those statements, it means she's getting it. Mm. Big time. I know what that who you're talking about. She is in Cardiff. Yeah. And this is someone who's never met me, never come to Keith. She <laughs> has really, she's, she, what she said is true. Mm -hmm. That she's been listening day and night. Mm -hmm. I do not pray about the things the pagans pray about. I know that he knows. <laughs> Though I'm still struggling with converting my time effectively, I, I think she's converting it. Jesus, well. I'm job. delivered from thinking that God will help me pass my studies. <laughs> That's what Christians used to do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> They're even praying on pens. Have mm. you not seen that one before? Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, She's delivered from those kind of witchcraft, paganistic. I'm working hard like a non believer. <laughs> That's your, That's your statement. That's your statement. are not supposed to work hard. Yeah, we're waiting for a miracle. It's gotten to that point that somebody says, "Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm saved now. I'm working hard like an unbeliever." Yeah. Mm. We are supposed to be more working more than the unbeliever. Yeah. Can you imagine? Yeah. That's what some wow. churches have taught. It's because like, you're a Christian, it's you don't need to work hard like unbelievers. I'm not working like an unbeliever. Now believer. somebody has been delivered. From somebody that. has been delivered. They can say, "I'm working like an unbeliever now." It's yeah, like, it's like in a deficit. It's, it's like a, it's like a joke. Like how, how do you say like the sentence that you make a joke of? It has become a statement. That what? That you are working. You're like working an in church. They'll say, "Oh, you're not even a ch you're working." Oh, especially Sunday, if you go to work on Sunday, they'll say to you that you're working like an unbeliever, mm -hmm. and you shouldn't do that. So they laugh at you. Them, yeah. They condemn you really. Wow. Okay, go ahead. Hmm. This, I am working. this girl has been really She's studying smart. this thing. She's been studying this yeah. thing. Yeah. I'm working hard like a non-believer and paying the hard price, even starting my business. Can you imagine? That's the hard price. I am healed from pretending everything is fine, even to God. When he says something I do not believe, I say so, but still acknowledge his supremacy. Oh. I am confident. <laughs> Beautiful. Wow. I am confident in myself wow. and in my abilities. I have taken the call to become a son, even though I'm a female. Though I'm scared, but my vision is to build prison ministry centers all over South Africa. She it's got a high crime. She got that calling. She got yeah. She yeah, got that calling. Right it's to there. help other Very people. Concrete. It's to serve other mm -hmm. people. You know, Miles Monroe. So this is for going from trying to hate God mm -hmm. or about to, at the verge of hating God. Mm -hmm. Into discovery, I call it. And all of this from bumping into your YouTube. Just video. bumping into YouTube. Miles Monroe's teachings helped me identify my, my husband. Miles. Miles Monroe. Oh, oh Miles sorry. Miles Monroe, mm -hmm. sorry, yeah, sorry. sorry. Miles Monroe's teaching helped me to identify my calling when I was still young, and yours helped me a great deal and how to finance it. I'm starting my business to gather money for my calling. I have become a father to my cousins and my younger siblings. She's even listening to the men, yeah. fatherhood, yeah. father teaching. Yeah. I'm approaching different investors for my business. I'm still struggling with solitude. I'm appreciating the process and anticipating the result. I'm no longer judgmental and also not too hard on myself. See, that is, she's been really listening to Pastor Sunday. Mm -hmm. Not judge himself and not judging others. Yeah. And that's what Christians do, don't they? Yeah, experts. Mm -hmm. That's, the, yeah, That's expert, our expertise. You know, expertise in mm -hmm. judging people. 
But for her to pick that up from my teacher, all of those lines that she had right there. Yeah, because those are lines that you could just trace them from my teacher. But I never, I don't even preach on, don't judge other people or anything. But just the way I, you know, to treat people and talk about, it, she got it. But people who don't listen to me properly, they say, oh, he's just judging other people. He just got condemn other pastors. But she mm -hmm. got it. I, I don't I never judge people. I rather give people allowances. She got it. I think she's really been listening to it. Yeah. Like, Pastor, I'm getting a word of knowledge right now that the message of sonship is returning to this house and is going to go through you to the world. That's what I'm getting right now. It's a new level of a message of sonship that you're releasing to the whole body. That's what I'm getting right now, like a prophetic word. A whole new grace on it. I am approaching different investors for my business. I am still struggling with solitude. I am appreciating the process and anticipating the result. I am no longer judgmental and also not too hard on myself. People are really people and not gods. I still can't work 14 to 18 hours a day. I daydream a lot, but I believe in people. She is really, she's she's, a really good she's person. Really <laughs> disciple. To avoid the sword ministry, I am loving God with all my heart, although still struggling since I was badly hurt by religion. See, this is somebody that's been totally brought into a whole new experience. Wow. 360 yeah. degrees turn around. I, I'm striving to, to be the best in my field. I already see some of that with my classmates. I am now into the small details of everything, etc., etc., etc. Kind regards, Ipfi from South Africa. Brilliant. I think I should just fly her on it. Yeah. Would it be possible to hmm? share the email? I would like to. I will ask her. Yeah. I will ask her. Uh, let's see. Who types first? Who can type? Who can type? Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's fly. Let's do that. <gasps> To Vijay, we have to uh, take her. Uh, okay, the email address. Okay, okay we're gonna need to do that. Mm -hmm. So, uh, where is it? Mm. Okay, mm -hmm. yeah, there we go. Mm -hmm. uh, come closer there. Mm -hmm. Subject from Pastor Sana. This is Pastor Sunny writing you from Kiev, Ukraine. I'm not sure what I'm going to do. First of all, let me tell you how extremely impressed I am. soaked yourself in, into. You don't need to tell me that you have been listening to me. I can tell you that you are a true disciple of Pastor Sunday by now. Language gives you out. Gives you out. Or what? It gives, gives you, you away. away. Gives yeah. you away. Gives you away. Your language gives you away. Mm -hmm. You are talking the kingdom language and the Pastor Sunday family language. Thanks, brother. 
Ifi, I commend your sincerity, honesty, and boldness. I must tell you a word that God gave me recently for another person, for another, for one of my other disciples, for one of my disciples. The Lord said to tell him that he should count himself fortunate and blessed to have been chosen to be among the few whose ears, whose ears have, have, have been blessed to receive to hear, to hear what they, what he was hearing, what he hears from Pastor Samuel. To receive what he was hearing. To, 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 yeah, to, yeah, to what he was hearing from Pastor Samuel. Just like in the days of Jesus, it's still the same today. privileged and chosen to be able to accept and comprehend this message. Just like in the days of Jesus, those people who listen to him were handpicked by God. Others were either indifferent or they were judgmental. But those that were marked by heaven receive the world with joy <laughs> if you, you are one of those in this generation let's go down. I enjoyed reading the fact that you are listening to these messages day and night in the transport, in the kitchen, in the bathroom, while cooking. Even when sleeping. <laughs> So the most important thing is that you are right in the center of God's move in this hour. In this hour. Next paragraph. For you to have bumped into the message as you said <laughs> means that the Holy Ghost led him to it because if you look at the numbers under those my videos the views are not so many they are for selected people 
even though there are billions of people in, on YouTube who go to YouTube. But my videos, very few views. <laughs> the billions, the billions that are on YouTube don't even know that there is a hidden treasure on, in that same field of YouTube that could have turned everything around about their lives and destiny. Those that are on YouTube don't even know that there is a hidden treasure. Yeah, in the field of U YouTube. Mm. That they could have sold everything for the sake of wish, I mean, just to be able to obtain. Because it could have turned their whole fortune and their whole life all around. I don't need to tell you that the greatest wealth in the world are on that YouTube page, Sunday at the Ledger Official. The greatest wealth in the world. Without exaggeration. You know that yourself now. <laughs> well, how few people know? <laughs> how few people? to be directed by God himself to discover that world. It is a hidden world. <laughs> it is the same thing Proverb, the book of Proverbs speaks about. It speaks about the hidden wisdom. <laughs> Some wisdom the unveiled glory for those who are able to discover it. Unveiled glory for those who are able to discover it. Because it is the glory of the Father. Or is it the glory of the King? To hide the matter. So God hides the most precious things. Yeah. That is where his glory is. The more glorious a thing is, the more hidden it is. Yeah. That is why that is why gold and diamond are more precious than grounds <laughs> and stones and ordinary common stones. Grounds. Or what do you call it? Is it grounds? Stones. Mm -hmm. Small particle stones. Mm -hmm. Grounds. Mm -hmm. Because grounds could only be, could be picked up on any street corner. Stones that are hidden are called precious stones. Why precious? Because they are hidden. <laughs> Those stones glorify people who find them. Who find them. Wow. When you find the gold, and when you find gold or diamond, it's, you are glorified. <laughs> Your life is beautified automatically. That's interesting. <laughs> People will find them and get them. Yeah, so with wisdom. Same with wisdom of God. God hides them. It is the glory of God to hide. But 
then when it is formed and discovered and unveiled by man, it ceases to be God's glory. It becomes the glory of the one that finds it. <laughs> it becomes the glory, it becomes the glory of the one that finds it. <laughs> when the gold and the diamond is on the soil, it is the glory of God still. But when you find it, it glorifies not only God, it becomes your glory. Everybody will say, oh, he's the owner of that company. Oh, he's the one that is owning that land. He's the one to become your glory. Congratulations, AP. That's probably the next part of it. You have discovered and unearthed the gem pool, the gem pool. <laughs> <laughs> and now it's going to begin to beautify and glorify you. <laughs> Some are still looking for the easy way by running after miracles. But when the treasure is hidden in the field, Take some work. You need to go and clear the grass and the trees in that field. And then you need to dig the soil, the ground, <laughs> to get to the treasure. <laughs> That's what Christians don't want to do. They don't want to work for it. They want to get to it. Yeah, in the price. They want to get their fingers dirty. <laughs> <laughs> they want the miracle to come from heaven, not from the soil. <laughs> the soil is dirty. The soil is dirty. That's good. That's good. They want it from there. They want Just it from there. there. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> they don't want to waste all that time, day and night, driving and cooking, listening. No, no, no. They just want to go appear in church they one day and say, Phew, God bless you, breakthrough. They don't right, want it, right. It. <laughs> That's a good one. So I want to spoil you on and encourage you to keep pushing, keep listening, and keep practicing. It doesn't matter what immediately, what works out for you immediately, and what doesn't work out immediately. Some will be fast, some will take time, but just keep on pushing. And you will see the glory manifest more and more in your life. Next program. Finally, I would like to say I'm open, I mean, I want to invite you to the Ukraine. So let me know whenever you are ready for that. If I will still be here in the Ukraine, it will be my joy to host you. If not, I would like to invite you to Nigeria because I will be moving to Nigeria soon. But I really want to see you one day. And make you touch Pastor Sunday. 
terug de convenience that he is indeed flesh and blood, ordinary human like you. He simply walked out. walking image and likeness the, the working the, the, the not working the walking image of God like yeah. a mobile yeah. image yeah. he simply walked on himself I'm, sim I'm flesh and blood like you mm -hmm. he, he simply walked on himself I simply, simply walk on myself to become a walking image and likeness of God Almighty. Everyone can do that. Mm -hmm. You can become a reflection of the invisible God. That is what I have labored to become. And that's why you said and a human mortal man know as so much as Pastor Sunday is is talking to ignores. No, no, she just knows. Because she is saying can a human being, a mortal human being know as much like the Pastor Sunday knows. Mm -hmm. Yes. You too could become like Look forward to seeing you. Just for you to touch me and find out that I'm really human. Really human. Ordinary human. It means so much to her. To be mm. a like this. Much love. Blessings. Look forward to hearing from you again. By the way, can this your letter be, uh, would you like a fragment of your letter or the full content of the letter to be shared or published or by Facebook or blog. Uh, blog or shared with other people as a testimony? See, I remember how as excited, testimony, right? excited I used to get when Pastor would say something like that. <laughs> I know what she'll feel when she hears it. Just, make so just let me know. Wow. If you want to rewrite it in a way for the public, you can do that and give us the pub the published uh, the, the 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 copy that could be published. Maybe with some of your photographs. The same way I reply to president, the same way I reply to you know senator, the same way I reply to billionaires, billionaires, just the same, just the same. No change, no difference. Yeah. Wow, that's one more question. <laughs> if it's not saying red or something, then it's okay. No, I have to change. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I have uh, my hand and I can't stop 